Good afternoon and welcome. Today we have some packages to go through. Some I was expecting, some I wasn't. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, before we do that, let's get the boring stuff out of the way. The like, the subscribe, the hit the notification bell. That's a bit better. I'm going to try and save bright today. There we go, that's light enough. Anyway, yes, if you can hit the like, the subscribe, the notification bell, get all that boring stuff out of the way. Um, but a few weeks back, I entered a competition in one of the YouTubers' channels. It was Judy and Debbie from all. Judy, Orpho Crafting Lounge, Debbie, Debbie Gets Crafty from the Sassy Crafting Sisters. For their birthday, they were giving away a prize and each of their weekend videos, you put a cold word for a chance to win and they put that onto a roulette wheel, spun it and people won. Um, the prize winner of Debbie's, I believe, was Snuggie's Crafting Corner and I won Judy's. Um, and it was a £25 um, gift card for Amazon.co.uk. So I brought the re the two-part resin I've been after. I only got small bottles. We'll need more. But with the £25, I spent it on that. Because I knew I needed some. So these are parcels that come. And I don't know which of the ones that were bought with that prize money and which were bought from other stuff so we'll help me find out yeah this is the first one that was bought with the uh, gift card money because I use smaller moulds to do the UV resin but obviously for the bigger moulds so you need two part resin so when I bought the two part resin I bought one of the moulds that I had on my wish list which I don't know how well this will show it but it's a skull with a snake around it there's the snake look it goes all the way around the skull and then you've got your skull inside so that's the first item can't wait to try that. Got to hide it from a certain assistant now, because he will really like that. Um, let's see. The next pack package is if I can get it. This one. This one. So I'm trying to hold this so I don't show my address. Normally my assistant takes the addresses off, but today he has them. And this is the epoxy resin that I bought with the £25 gift card. I don't know how many things we'll get out of it because I know you have to mix part A and part B in equal amounts and then um, pour it into the mould. But we've got some extra little goodies with it as well. So I'll show you those. It's in the best value one I could find. It was um, 18.99. But let's slide it all out carefully. Okay, we have a little booklet explaining how to stir it and try not to get bubbles because the last thing you want is a bubble in either UV or epoxy resin because when they set they burst and then they cause holes um, but this is only this is only 300 mil of each, so it's not going to go very far. It looks a lot, but if you imagine the size of that skull, that's not going to go very far. But that's your 
resin and it's hard. Now you've got your pop eye and your pop eh? And apparently it's a crystal clear one. No idea what the differences are yet. So we have four wooden stirrer sticks. Not sure I'm going to use those. I don't know if it's different for epoxy. But I was told if you stir with wood, you can cause um, micro bubbles, which can do a lot of damage to your, um, your item. We have the files that always remind me of the foot files for your sanding your feet, but it's to sand down the roughness on the resin because sometimes you get bits on the end of the cast. We have a bangle mould, so you, obviously my finger's not going to fit through because it would be bigger, but yeah, you make your bangle and put it on your wrist. We have a pineapple who lives under the sea. We have some, I believe these are earring and necklace moulds because you've got the cat with the two cats, so that bit would be a necklace, those would be earrings, same with your paw. So we have those. We have a cute little teddy bear. We have some gloves, which I'm not going to take out there because we'll never get them back in. And a jug with measurements on the side for measuring your epoxy, obviously. We have some golden shimmer glitter. And we have three mica powders. We have Green, blue, orange, and my favourite purple. So I will get my assistant. I will get my assistant to put these away. Yes, yeah, so I'll put them on there and get my assistant to put those back in the box. Because I can never fit them back in how I take them out. So those have got to go in the box. Let's open this next one. I haven't come across it. I'm all good with it. So we have this one next, which. Here's some moulds I ordered a few weeks back. They finally turned up. Um, these, I believe, would be better to be used with the epoxy because they're a bit bigger. But these smaller ones you could probably use. Oh, they've got to go. You could pro Oh, that one's a bit deformed. I see we're not going to straighten that. If not, I should be complaining. Um... But you have a little square one, little round one, a larger round one, an oval. I don't like how they put these together, it's deforming them. We have an oblong and a large square. These are ideal for coasters to put pictures in or different things. So we'll see how those go. All of those balls and then went in that box. This next one, this next one is from Haribo. It's Haribo TV. If you haven't checked him out, please do so. Um, I believe I thought it was my scales he'd ordered, but no, it's the diamond. That when he ordered it, he ordered me a diamond pattern and a set of scales for measuring the resin. And they said that the scales was coming today and the painting was coming Friday. Well, the painting came today. This one I wanted for a food event that's coming up. Um, oh, there's a stray bead there. Let's hope that doesn't mean that some of the beads have leaked out. Um... But this, it's a 30 by 30, it has 24 numbers, they are all letters but luckily enough there's none of the funny symbols 
and it does have DMC and it's of a little cat. Now according to Amazon this is a mouse but no it is definitely a cat and it's sitting in a jar of sweets and you can tell it's sitting in the jar of sweets because there's his paws but they've made his paws look like sweets and then if you look carefully he's got cherry on his head or her head but yes um, the beads have the canvas number and no DMC number and it does look like a couple of them have leaked because we have loose beads inside but I can sort her out at the time but we have some lovely lovely colours so that's that thank you for that Harry Bell if you can't do it leave it till later because I'm going to need your assistance and it comes with a regular toolkit, which as we all know, I don't use. I shall send the pens to Cindy, the wax to Haribo, and the green trays. If anybody wants them, please let me know. If not, I'll whack them in the bin. And finally, we have one large parcel, which I have no idea what it is or who it's from. Like I said, my assistant, we can sort it in a bit. Could you pass me that one? Type the live lobby first. Does it just say Sharon or does it say Pencil Surprises? Just Sharon. Okay, so normally if it's a fan or it's somebody like Harry Bob, they put Pencil Surprises on so that I know it's a gift from one of them. Normally if it's something we've ordered, it just says Sharon. But I don't remember ordering anything this big. So we shall see. But then again, how many times have Amazon sent a big box? Oh, actually, I know what that is. And that one won't be opened on camera. I know exactly what it is. I just thought it's around the 22nd, yes. Now, that guy the other day. Just take the address off and we'll see what we can do. If you can't get it all off, I open the box and I can cut that one side off. Because I don't want to be sat here all day looking at nothing. I can show you Dad this, I guess, while we're waiting. Darling, why are you taking that label off? Come here and I can show you this. Look what come. It's that skull with the snake. Isn't that nice? Okay, ah, no swearing! Said, oh, you I'm swore oh, on our sorry. video! Thank you! I'm not going to cut that out. My husband does not understand the concept of you can get banned for swearing language on YouTube. I'm sorry! I keep swearing whether I am live or not. Yes, you can edit it out, but as everybody knows, he swears by now. What's the point? Here we go, here's the big box and I still have no idea what is inside. Inside it. My son is sitting here thinking I can't open the box. But guess what? I can. Yes, I have a sore arm, but I'm not thinking about it. I know, I did give them my son to move and he just stood there. I don't believe this. I do not. Can you see this? This big box for two little items. It's a two plug extension lead for my washing machine. And this is my mini spirit level. Can you believe that, people? That big box for that and that. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody said when you're doing the UV resin you need to have everything flat. And as we know, I don't have a lot of space. So, I got me a spirit level. Tiny, tiny, but it does its job. My, I have I moved my hand, it's not going to be level, but if I move that, let's see. There we go, we level. Perfect. My son's dying to get his hands on it. Shall I move it out his reach? Here, have a look. And as always, for now, Love, peace and harmony.